so Hallelujah. Announcing Lozen's Prayer Fest 2024. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for giving me your attention. Lozen's Prayer Fest. Why should I be part of this? I'd want to start by defining what a retreat is. Is a period of group withdrawal for prayer, patient study or instruction under a director. A definite time that is spent away from one's normal life. And the purpose is to reconnect in prayer with God. A retreat is an opportunity to step back into Eden. You remember what happened in Eden. God and man, Adam, always had that encounter. And we need to reorder our lives. We need to take a step back. You know, what we usually, or why we usually take this step is that we have been working, I mean, throughout the year. Sometimes prayer is difficult. Sometimes we have challenges we wish we could find a way of overcoming. Um, we haven't heard the voice of God the way we ought to. We are just tired. And this is a period where we need to just forget about the hustle and bustle. Most of us, you know, of the city lives that we lead. The city life, the ups and downs. And just take a break. Prayer Fest is very, very, very important. Lozen has had 14 retreats. And this year's own will be our 15th. I must say that all these retreats have been very unique, very outstanding. And you, you come back feeling fulfilled, refreshed, and ready to move on with life. You see the negatives around you no more because you have come back with so much faith. So in the next uh, broadcast, we will start looking at 10 reasons why we must participate in this retreat. 10 reasons why as a believer, as a Christian, you must have retreats with God. And I want to prepare you for what is coming from 5th to the 7th of July, we will be at Abokobi, the Presbyterian Women's Center, uh, Friday 5th, and we are ending on Sunday the 7th, God willing. But before then, we are going to go through a fast, a 21-day fast that will end on 7th of July. So we're beginning in June and then ending in July. And then we're also going to have um, our North American Prayer Fest. That is going to be a full day, fully packed. I mean, all in one. It's going to be a prayer marathon from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern Time um, in New Jersey. Holiday Inn Hotel. And I encourage you to register programs and be prepared to meet with your God. Amen. Number one reason why you need to be at Prayer Fest 2024. Because you have been busy and you need a break. Yes, retreats, they renew us because they give us time to step away from the hustle and bustle of life. Jesus did this so many times. Once in a while, he will withdraw. And then he would take the needed break. Because he knew as a man, he needed that. To get away from the stress and receive strength from above. To get refueled, recharged, so that he could go out there and do more for his God.
So, you are tired? Been too busy? Please, you need a break. Number two, why must I attend prayer first? Why must I go on this retreat? Because you need to hear God's voice and direction. You have been on a path. Sometimes you think that it is okay to go on that same path. But God may be telling you something different. Maybe you are someone who doesn't hear the voice of God and you are seeking that thing very, very seriously. You want to hear the voice of God. Stepping out of your daily routines, the busyness of your daily life will help you to hear more clearly the voice of God. And that is why you must be at prayer fests. Interestingly, there is this charged atmosphere that we always experience during prayer fests. And it is so charged that it makes it easy for those who have never heard God speak begin to hear his voice. When you separate yourself, it makes it better for you. It, it becomes a better condition or it creates a better atmosphere where you can hear the Lord speak. I encourage you, be part of prayer first and be the sheep that will hear the voice of the Lord. John 10, 27 says that, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. God bless you. Number three, why you must be part of prayer first. I need a miracle. I need divine intervention. Something is happening to me. I need God to intervene on my behalf. Some miracles will manifest only by fasting and prayer. And so as we fast and pray during this season of prayer fast, I want you to be part of what is going on so that you will see a manifestation of that miracle that you are hoping and trusting God for. Hallelujah. You will not be the first to experience this. I have experienced it in my life. I put something that I really needed before the Lord. And right from the prayer, the prayer first grounds, by the time we got home and started the week, the Lord made room for that miracle. Matthew 17, 21. This kind will not go except by fasting and prayer. See you. Prayer Fest 2024. Amen. Only Number four. Why should I be part of Prayer Fest? Hey, hey. I need to grow spiritually. I need to get closer to my God. I feel empty within me. Prayer Fest offers you that opportunity. Word study times of prayer times of separation i mean it just gingers you up and all these things would help make you a better christian when you get back home you will keep practicing it and you'll find yourself on another level please don't miss out prayer fest 2024 we are going to seek spiritual growth. Proverbs 27, 17 says, As iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. I look forward to seeing you. Come, let's sharpen each other. Amen. Number five. Why should I be part of prayer first? Ha, ha, ha. Because it is so beautiful for us to dwell together in unity. For us to grow together. Psalm 133 verse 1. You know, friendships made during these retreats are unique and special. You have a group of people, like-minded people, Christians, and we are seeking to build solid 
Christian relationships and grow with it. There's the need for us to connect. Prayer Fest is also about networking. People have had jobs offered to them in such meetings. Amen. I'll never forget one person who had a job offer. You know, it came up and then somebody said, I'm ready to offer her a job. In a Christian meeting, you never know who God is going to lead you to. And if you have been praying this prayer like me, Lord, help me to be at the right place at the right time and to meet the right people who will help me, who will be my destiny helpers and take me to higher heights. Then I can assure you that you must not miss out on Prayer Fest 2024. We are going to connect, build solid friendships within a solid community of believers. I look forward to seeing you at Prayer Fest. God bless you. Number six. Reason why you must not miss out or you must not miss Prayer Fest is because you want to imitate Christ. A man of God wrote, he said, he said, imitate me. As I imitate Christ. Amen. We want to imitate Christ. We want to be like him. The Bible says, So he himself withdrew often into the wilderness and prayed. Luke five sixteen. If Jesus himself knew how to withdraw and wait on his father, then he knew the benefits of withdrawing from the crowd withdrawing from the multitude he knew the benefits that it carried why wouldn't you want to be like jesus i want to be like him so i'm ever ready to withdraw to pray to fast and to hear my god speak just like jesus did please don't miss out you will not lose much when you withdraw you will come back with much gain. I look forward to seeing you. Prayer Fest 2024. Number seven. Reason why I should be at Prayer Fest. Because I don't want to miss my Kairos moments. I don't want to miss that opportunity. That atmosphere that is right for God to meet me. Amen. You may have been praying on your own. You may have been in different meetings. But I want to assure you that certain things God will tell you during such encounters. He may never speak those things to you when you are alone. He may have to use somebody in that meeting. He may have to, to speak to you under certain conditions. Sometimes it looks as if we are even in another world during prayer fest. I don't know, but if you have experienced such charged atmosphere, it is so easy for God to just come in and do his own thing. The encounters we have at night, the encounters we have in the early mornings, in the midday sessions, please, please don't stay away. It is just that feeling, you know, that feeling of being in another world. Hallelujah. Don't miss your Kairos moment. Prayer Fest 2024. I look forward to seeing you. Do you look forward to seeing me also? Sure. If the Lord permits, he will do it. See you. Yeah.